everyone, so today I'm going to be telling you about the parallelogram of forces and how to resolve forces. Now for the parallelogram of forces, I actually have a video for you um, because what goes on is I, I still don't know and I hope that I'm able to do this in the future. I would like to be able to do some animations in my videos and all these things to make it easier for you to see things because I've, obviously I'm telling you this over distance and this video in here, the guy in here, uh, he actually brings three examples uh, on how to do the parallelogram of forces and each of the examples is going to give you something new but uh, something that reinforces your learning also so please go to that video uh, is a little bit of a long video I don't know if it's eight minutes or something alike but it is useful and is going to make your parallelogram of forces to be completely understood and easy to do when it comes to the exam okay so do that I'll add the link in the description in terms of resolving forces so as you know sometimes you're going to get a force that is not completely completely horizontal or vertical but it is at an angle okay and when that comes and you need to figure out what are the components of the force the horizontal and the vertical components of the force or the x direction and the y direction of the force you need to use um, trigonometry and I do appreciate that physics is related to maths and sometimes you don't know of maths so it's a little bit hard for you to do this in physics so I will just give you the stuff and I'll give you an exercise as well in a second and these two pictures by the way I took it from the internet as well so they are not done by me so whenever you have a triangle like this uh, and is uh, has a 90 degrees angle you have three sides you have the hypotenuse you have the opposite angle and the adjacent angle okay now using trigonometry and this is something that is just just trust me i'm just giving you this the sine of an angle so this is the, an angle that i'm going to draw now imagine that this is the inclination of my slope for example the sine of the angle is going to be the same as the hypotenuse dividing the number for hypotenuse sorry dividing the number for the opposite sides by the hypotenuse so let's imagine this is three this is four this is five you would do four over five and this would be the sine of the angle okay the cosine of this angle will be the adjacent so whichever is the length of these sides divided by the hypotenuse whichever is the length of these sides and the tangent of the angle is going to be again the opposite over the adjacent so again in my example I believe it would be 4 over 3 or something if I if I still remember the numbers that I said okay so these things are given and then if you want to figure out the angles so if you want to figure out so you know that sine of an angle gives you uh, let's say I don't know uh, not 0.5 and you want to find what the angle is you in a calculator you use sine minus one uh, which is going to give you the angle okay so applying this to physics so this is a little bit of maths for you applying this to physics imagine that I apply a force on an object and this force my resultant force has an angle has an angle theta okay so this angle in here so I can draw the components of the force because the force can be um, characterized by its horizontal component so how much the force would make a shadow if there would be the Sun right on top of this vector okay so this would be the length of the shadow and I can also make it as a vertical component so again imagine that I have the Sun right here so directly uh, going into this force and this would be the shadow that, that it would make so a force can be characterized by their horizontal and vertical components so because the resultant force is the hypotenuse the vertical component is the opposite and the horizontal component is the adjacent um, um, angle or sides I can then resolve my forces by saying that my resultant force is F my vertical component so the opposite is F times sine of theta in my horizontal component the um, this one the adjacent one is F cosine of theta why because sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse so if I want to know the opposite I have the hypotenuse times sine of theta so F the hypotenuse times sine of theta sine of theta and then why is F cosine of 
theta, the horizontal component, because that's my adjacent side, I know that a cosine of an angle is the agents adjacent over the hypotenuse. So adjacent is going to be the hypotenuse times the cosine of the angle. So I have F, the hypotenuse, times the cosine of the angle. Okay. So how do we apply this? So uh, here is a work example. Uh, and again, I took this picture from the internet. I brushed a little bit because I normally do this lesson on the board. And I, if I want to make it in a video, I need to have a PowerPoint. So there you go. So let's make this example. I have this trolley and I'm applying a force of uh, 400 newtons um, in this particular direction, which is not an X or Y direction. And the angle that I'm applying this force is 60 degrees. So what do I do? What are the resultant forces on this? Or what, uh, what are the components, the horizontal and the vertical components of this resultant force? So again, my horizontal component is this one, Fx. Okay, I'm calling it Fx. And again, imagine that the sun is shining directly on top of that vector and this would be the shadow that it would make, okay? And my vertical component is this one, Fy, so the force in the y direction. Again, imagine that the sun is shining in this exact direction of the arrow, and this would be the shadow that it would make. Now, Fx is going to be um, F times the cosine of the angle, right? So I know that the cosine of 60 degrees, look in the previous slide, equals Fx, the... Uh, um, the ooh, the adjacent uh, times uh, over the hypotenuse. So it's going to be Fx over 400 newtons, okay? So Fx is 400 times cosine of 60 degrees. Make sure the calculator is at degrees. So that if Fx is equal to 200 because cosine of 60 is not 0.5. And then Fy. So Fy, we know that the sine of an angle is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. My hypotenuse is 400. I, um, I move around this equation and make Fy the subject of the equation. Fy is the resultant force times sine of 60, which is our angle. And this is going to give me 346. Again, I'm applying this completely directly. And imagine that you're not very good at maths. Just memorize this stuff, okay? It's physics. Of course, I would prefer if you would be good at maths and could do this. But if you can't, don't think that you cannot do these exercises because you're not good at maths. Again, memorize. This is always the case, okay? and just apply to any example. So I hope it made sense. I do understand this is not a video like the other ones where I have everything written and explained. Uh, this is more mathematical. I tend to spend this lesson on the board with my students so they can visualize it. And I don't have the skills to make the animations for you. So I you know, stole some pictures from the internet. So this one and the other one. Uh, and uh, go on that parallelogram of forces video because it's really useful, okay? So up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye!